In this simple example, I will demonstrate how to use the AI Bill of Material tool to use Model Manager attributes in the fields for the Bill of Material. We'll just start up the AI Bill of Material tool. We could do that either through the ribbon, through the AI Max Tools menu over here, or we could actually right click on an assembly, say AI Max Tools, and say AI Bill of Material. Once that's up, we can change any options, including choosing which columns we want to have displayed. You'll notice that we've got this description field here, which from our available columns will be over at the bottom because all of the model manager attributes will be added at the bottom over there, but we can position them anywhere we want. The description column by default uses the vanilla model manager description but it's very easy to change that if you have a customized model manager installation or if that is not working for you. So when we hit show and hide, we can see this description column is now using that information that's pulled directly from the model manager attributes that are on the part. So if we want to save that out to disk, we'll click save bomb as. We'll go and we'll just select this bomb.pdf. We'll just overwrite it and we'll say write bomb to disk and while it does that it takes a little bit of time because we're generating for our PDF file we're including images so it'll take a screenshot for each object that we're including in that and you'll notice this open after write option is turned on which means that as soon as the PDF is complete it will pop open in our PDF viewer which it just did so as we scroll down we can see all of these individual parts in our PDF it's a multi-page PDF. You can see there's two pages there, and every part has its own image. Um, if there were sub-assemblies, those could have their own images as well. So with AI Bill of Materials Generator, it's that easy.